Now, we've talked a number of times just how difficult a racetrack this is. It, it may look simple enough because you see a lot of pavement there, but there's only a certain part of it that you want to use as we see him uh, trying to take another spot here. But he obviously, sitting on the pole, we knew that he had a good, good race car, but this is very impressive to watch him come through the traffic and make the passes that he's made. Whoa, uh, contact him. Did he get contacted or just get in the corner? Hold the brake, bud. Hold the brake. And he slams the wall very hard and heavy damage on the front of his Chevy. Oh, we're going to have to see that again. Look like he might have got right, in there just a little bit too hard. Now I'm rolling here, but it's bad. Yeah, that looked like it's knocked the fuel pump or something off of there, Ray. Yeah. Smart thing to do there, get it stopped. It's going to be interesting as we see the replay if, if he got, there was a little contact. His car was so good, it's hard to imagine that he just drove in there and, and got in too hard. But it doesn't take much here to, to get in there a little bit over your head. You get that right rear chatter, and then, and then you're around. Hold over and get out of that car. Get out of that car. He's out. He's out. He's in. Lap 48, and we're just talking about what a great job this young man had done to come all the way from the back of the pack, and now heavy contact in the wall, bringing out the uh, second caution flag of the day here on lap 47. 18 years of age, making only his 15th career start. Driving for uh, Rick Hendrick and Dale Earnhardt Jr. Let's show you again what happened here. Now watch the five car, watch the 25. He's trying to make the pass and anytime you're in that position, you want to get down into the corner. He seems to clear Bobby Hamilton Jr. Mm. But yeah, looks like he got a little bit to It looks like Bobby Jr. When you're in that position, you get back to the, the throttle just a little bit soon and it wasn't anything intentional, obviously. Bobby was just trying to get uh, the best run off the corner and, and follow the five. See if there's anything different from this angle that we can see. I think Bobby tried to cross him up and just caught him in the left rear, turned yeah. him around. Well, hard to see the contact there between the 25 and the 5. And gosh, this kid's coming in a hurry, and that's what happens. Uh, fuel pump, raw fuel in the front of the engine when you hit. Yeah, when you crush the nose on those cars, a lot of things can happen. Sometimes it moves the engine plate, which will knock the fuel pump uh, off. You'll break an oil line. That looks like it might have been oil fire there. Uh, oil cooler, possibly, DJ? Yeah, definitely. Now, let's listen in uh, to what uh, the 25 had to say, Bobby Hamilton Jr., after this most recent incident just a moment ago. Sorry, man. Uh, got him there, too. Uh, Ron, I got there, too. I got in too hot. My brakes have been kind of fading on me. I just got in there, too. Uh, tell him I'm sorry. Chad Walter feverishly working in here with the team. Chad, did that have anything to do with what happened to you guys at Nashville and what Bobby said to you? I, I can't really Watch hear what out. you said, uh, Jamie. Um, it's unfortunate the National Guard Chevy uh, had an up and down day. Uh, had to go to the back because of an engine change, and, and honestly, that's just kind of what got us around the trash back there. Uh, we had no business being back there, and uh, apparently the uh, 25 was just driving over his head a little bit, and uh, Landon made a good clean pass on him, and it's not even 40 laps into the race, and we're sitting here with a wrecked race car. So Bobby like apologized. Do you think it was sincere? Um, it, it doesn't make a difference. We got a wrecked race car, and, and we'll take care of it. And uh, that's racing, you know. <laughs> happens. Unfortunate for the five car guys. We apologize for that. Landon Castle has been released from the infield care center. You earned your first pole today. You earned your first pole today. Had to go to the back because of an engine change. Worked your way up, and now you're in here. Certainly not the way you wanted to end your day. How emotional has this day been for you, Landon? Uh, you know, I mean, racing is a pretty emotional sport, so. Uh... Just got to move on to the next one. We had a great race car and unfortunately it ended soon. So. so in your perspective, what happened? I know you haven't seen the video yet, but what did you see from your window? Um, I don't know. I mean, I think to him it all started back in Nashville. <laughs> um, he was pretty upset with something. I tried to work it out with him face to face and I guess that wasn't enough. You know, um, I worked on him for about 10 laps and uh, tr tried to pass him clean. So. I can't say anything. I was looking out the windshield, but I got to see the replay.